everyone can use some form of their platforms or a way of using content as a way to just address a specific issue, especially if it impacts you and your community, right? So don't underestimate that you need to have over 10,000 followers and the UN needs to be following you and you need to be sponsored by a specific brand. I started with nothing. I literally started the Minister of Menstruation with like 1,800 followers and I started with no brand backing. Like Curate started with nothing. Literally, when I started our first curate workshop, I had 50 rand in my bank account. I had no money at the time, but we continued doing these workshops to a point now where we can say today, Curate has just partnered with YouthX by NetBank, right? I can say that I've partnered with X, Y, and Z brands, but that for me isn't what drives my success. My success is the impact of the work. If I go to a school and I finish for an hour with the workshop, was that impactful, not which brand is with me. Like, yes, it's really important. Collaboration drives scale of impact, but I'm not driven by that. I'm mostly driven by the social good, the impact, the people. So, yeah, I just use social media as a way to then capture that and then also get people to also have the ability to talk about it and also share tips on how people can do something about it because I can't end period poverty by myself. It's not possible. Um, I need people, families, communities, they need to do something about it. So